Hi guys, it is Taurus season, so it seems to be very appropriate uh, to use this Earth Magic deck. So we are going to have that assist us in the readings. So before we just jump in into your readings, just to let you know that I still have the promotion, speed up promotion, meaning you get one level up, so you sign up for a regular reading, you get a rush reading, you sign up for rush, you get urgent, and you sign up for urgent, you get it before you finish typing. No kidding. You get it in 24 hours. So just go on cattarot.ca and find basically where I have this special list is listed under book your reading. Now, uh, second thing I have, annual telescopes are still discounted. And like it's only 10 bucks for one sign or $20 for all of the signs they can check your venus sign you can check your ascendant you can check your sun sign i generally like to lurk on the other people's mars signs to see kind of like how that's going to work out and lastly i'm taking applications for the next round of terra school which is starting may the 15th the first group is running and also i'm so excited oh my gosh Facebook such a kind of or love, instagram love, or both so you so get, get a daily reading or it's not going to be like a little bit kind of learn about as tarot. i initially thought and it would be 11. i think this is enough for me so and the next is that's it for my announcement so guys hopefully monthly reading so let's start you did get winter solstice and reflection beyond illusion this pretty butterfly and wolf instinct so where do I start because looks like, sort of like they really tell a very very strong story so let's go one at a time so we are like out of winter in every hemisphere. So hence, it's not referring to, hey, check the outside. It is really probably talking about the winter of our like, basic lives. And even those winters, we actually right now, how to actually take advantage of. Like, I mean, we have this festival of the lights and you know, like sometimes can be total fun. This kind of like image is showing kind of like really powerful representation of winter solstice, right? We, we see the reflection of the snowy kind of like woods, but we also see that lake is still kind of frozen, right? So the reflection of the tree or the trees basically, sorry, kind of like reminds us that it's like kind of time to go inside. And both to our basically physical shelter and possibly to kind of like put ourselves in our internal world and contemplate something that just has passed. So I would say guys, especially because you're getting beyond illusion card, something really powerful from your life that maybe even froze you. We get to the situation in life when, when we kind of like need to be self-protective and when we need to heal. So this is basically telling me that you should probably look and review the past year and ask yourself, what were the most important lessons? What you have accomplished and kind of like what dreams and visions you did 
or did not manifest. You have to figure out what you do want to manifest in the upcoming year. So maybe something has been a uh, smooth kind of like right before, but maybe it was challenging. And now you kind of have to figure out where do you have to like step on the gas and where you have to let go of it. So this is really time to kind of like really um, experience kind of what who you really are. Because this is definitely just like in this card, you know, asking that no matter what your judgments, fears or joys are, it is really time to address them, right? So honor whatever has happened over the previous several months or even several years with gratitude and with forgiveness and then let it go. Allow yourself possibly some kind of solitude so you can actually have the quiet time for reflection. And once when you are done, consider what is to come. Maybe you will be going in some kind of like new possibilities and potentials. This is actually telling me you're going further than that because you're having a wolf as sort of like the last card over here. So both of these cards are talking about the past and talking about resurfacing certain things that maybe, you know, have been there and maybe they need to be changed they kind of like need to kind of let go between you know like sometimes we find the workable situations which maybe are not the best for us but they are workable right so this is kind of also talking about dropping i guess our opinions and also move inside and finding our basically deepest truth because this card is the card of judgment in the other decks so both of them are talking about okay let's deal let's clear this plate let's finally wash it and this is very important because we have this instinct ingrained inside of us right but wolves are basically exhibiting what is like really the most important thing about wolf it's companionship loyalty and affection right they're real exceptional parents and they take really really good care of their young so sure there are similarities between wolves and dogs right but they are still not tamed right so they're still carnivores kind of like wild animals and kind of like they're instinctually driven and it's kind of like the most basic drive right so you have in this process lost possibly touch with you know what are your instinctual sensitivities that can be basically cultural or religious programming that kind of like dictated you what you need to do and as part of this reflection is going to be hey what works for me me libra what works for me and sometimes it's very threatening to get out of that space right so this is also really good spirit animals because usually this is a good teacher somebody who is really teaching us how to self nurture maybe this is also talking about needing to shed some inhibitions with sort of like do no harm kind of a thing right so i'm not saying just go naked and just like walk down the streets yeah it's not going to get you very far i'm maybe going to get you kind of like a new piece of clothing straight jacket but you know what i'm talking about so guys some deep breaths and notice kind of like that your body is actually functioning even without you commanding it what you need it's going to be a really big month for you libra so let's see what we have here well we have the earth queen earth queen to me always represents somebody very pragmatic and possibly a wife somebody kind of like pulling the family together so now we have this closeness you might actually find a close connection because wolves not only stick around with their families but they kind of like stick around like kind of in in packs and and kind of like realizing like together we are stronger she is the one who is a very very strong queen she's like actually very attractive so i have a feeling that you guys will be beautifying things around you you might be uh, decorating home because this person is extremely resourceful that's why she has like this should be cornucopia kind of thing over here because 
she's the one who would for example buy stuff you know somewhere on a bazaar and on, on a flea markets and then make something spectacular out of it right kind of like knows how to stretch her dollar if you really wish and and she's like one who is also um presenting herself in a really really good way and then we have like 10 of earth reverse to boot so it's going to be something connecting to your home. It's going to be really about the closeness, who you want to be close with, who you don't want to be close with. Because beyond illusion is like sort of like, are you taking this left door or taking the right door? Or are you staying? Or are you leaving? I think it's going to be lots of decisions um, within the family. It might be sort of like some kind of disturbance in the family life as well. But you're going to like come up, come out on top. We have consequences. So there you go. I was telling you, you're going to like actually um, rebalance certain things, and and I think maybe you were too guarded going on the outside, and neglected, and the fact that you you need a kind of like some s new kind of like insight, new care, and you're kind of doing this because now you're having two ju two basically karma cards showing up. So this period is going to push you into kind of like understanding of self. Oh my gosh, you have the strength too. So that was like something that probably has been happening for a while. It is falling into your past category. The strength is always about conquering the, the, the hardest battle in our life. It is against ourselves, right? Because we kind of get used to ourselves and accept us. And... You have to think about it. When you get a new co-worker or somebody comes to your like, clergy or something, initially this person is new and you're noticing everything, right? And you know what irritates you. You know what doesn't irritate you. You know what you like. You know what you dislike. But with time, kind of like the edges sort of like shave off and you kind of like accept the person. Even the things that you felt they were obnoxious in the beginning. It's easy for us to see it in the other people, but because we know ourselves every day of our lives, every day, all day long, we kind of like actually don't even see it anymore because certain things are just okay. I remember once I was like uh, in a restaurant and I walked into the washroom and this woman had the door open and she goes, oh my gosh, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. She says, I live alone, I completely forgot. That's kind of one of those things, uh, checking points. Maybe you were building the strengths. Maybe you need to keep the washroom door closed. So let's see what's crying. Oh my gosh, the lovers. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I keep going. Like, I mean, these are the choices. I was telling you the A or the B kind of, no, pardon me. This is not lovers. This is not our kitty. This is the Empress. And the Empress and the Earth Queen are actually really connected. Uh, it is about the strength uh, the Empress is also, by the way, Libra, and she she's actually talking about kind of like pampering yourself, being creative. Um, this kind of like seems to be vibrant way. She's not the one who's asking other people for opinions. It's like sort of like pushing on your way on your own. So it is kind of like really, really interesting. And by the way, this is like one, one, one. Like you guys are really waking up, especially women, I would say. You're coming to your own. You might, may feel that something along the family line have been constraining you. I would almost like say uh, marriage or family habits or something. This also can be Mother's Day. That something is going to be really crucial happening on that day. And we are going to be reaching some complete cool idea that we don't have to always get engaged with the other people. You know, one of my tricks is like when, uh, you know, I'm with people who I don't like or I don't want to be around, I kind of assume a very relaxed position and like as if you're just about to go to sleep or you slope in a chair. Because like right away you're telling signal, body language, which is 80%, I, I don't care, <laughs> I don't care. So you don't have to insult somebody verbally and you're simply kind of like, re like deflecting without engaging. And it's kind of like really helping because when we engage, then we got into this wash machine, right? 
So, and then we have Nine of Sea, which is wonderful. So you guys are going to really benefit in this month. It looks to me that winter solitus, solstice, as I said, could have been years, could have been months, that some work had to happen, going inside, doing the internal work. And it is a time to keep going, 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 because the balance is coming. And Nine of C is also uh, ability to keep dreaming, ability to understand where you want to go. Just like as I said, it's kind of like reassessing what you didn't complete and what you did complete. And kind of enjoying, like when was the last time, Libra, you pat yourself on the shoulder and said, it's okay, hey, you're doing great. Doesn't have to be that you w won a Nobel Prize. Even small things matter. Every small things matter. And then we have Six of Sky here. This is kind of an interesting card because it talks about travel. I don't know why Virgo came to my mind, like now at looking at it, right? Because look at this like big furry fight in the background over here. And the kid is obviously pissed off saying, like, forget it. I'm not part of this. I'm out. So it is kind of like moving away from the circumstances that maybe you got tangled up. Maybe kind of like that something provoked you to kind of like gain strength. Maybe something that um, challenged your vision of what you want to have in life. Because this card is extremely complex. It talks about building blocks of life, which include family, inheritances, work, everything. But you're coming on top. You're like all these majors. It's just like kind of like a really, really amazing. You it's two karma cards. But you're definitely coming to that conclusion. Kind of conclusion what conclusion means. You do not dwell on it anymore. It's like, you know, bungee jumping, you're fidgeting, you're fidgeting, you're fidgeting. Do you want it? Do you want it? No, I don't want it. Like I personally would never do that, but just because I would fidget forever. But then at some point you have to jump. And that's it. So this is like what kind of month is this for you? So look at this, you have another eight. And this one is the eight of C reversing. So maybe you are stepping away from somebody, but it's somebody will not want to step away. Maybe somebody step away from you already, but that somebody could be coming back, which kind of like does make sense in conjunction with um, the consequences or the justice card. But um, it doesn't look to me that you will want to play. To be really honest, you kind of like are nice and cushy and warm where you are. You kind of like did manage to reflect and find who stays and who d who's not who's not staying. Like that's what I say to my friends. Look, you're still on the list, but you might not be on the list. I just easily can press delete because look, I have no patience for this. I'm not getting any younger. So the people who cannot, um, who who basically do provoke in me the sense of anger or continuously there is like some kind of embattlement or problems because this is what I do for a living, right? I don't want it in my private life. They get off the list, you know? Especially when we never resolve anything, you know? Like some people love to be angry. So this is kind of interesting because there is like definitely some kind of like coming back and it's almost like when somebody kind of like leaves you for a girl that they, they fell in love overnight and uh, it's just amazing and blah, blah, blah. And, and you like spend like, I mean, nights kind of like crying over that and thinking like, oh my gosh, like, I mean, what happened? What about me? Am I inadequate? What happened? Because like, this is your card. This is your card. And then they come back and say, no, it was you. I didn't realize that. So, yeah, sometimes the hormones kick in. Maybe somebody's better, let's say, biological mix, and hence they kind of like get this like big call of nature, as they call it. But you guys are not a sign that competes at that level. You're not competing on biological level. Your brain is sign, and people forget that because you're so, you're giving appearance of harmonious, even though we know that most of the time you're all tangled up. And every single day you're kind of creating this like balance and the strength and conquering everything that seems to be like the, the chaos around you. And then we have a four of C. So you might get a lot tired. It's going to be lots of emotional engagement guys this month for sure. It is asking for you to ground it's definitely but like I see this like emotions really kind of like 
being there you might feel exhausted after all this work but like you will be taking some kind of like time off for yourself by yourself but it's a good news because you actually are going to really enjoy it it's going to be the time with the close ones really the closest ones i would say that even arms length family might create problems and something is still not spinning the world is still not turned around so this is still not a good place to be um something well rome was not built in a day so something is not resolved entirely because the world is talking about completely new stage the world is also connecting to the empress it's kind of like not only enjoying it in the moment but understanding this can be the permanent state you know like some sometimes like we are you know like this too shall pass sure but once when you grasp the feeling, like in NLP, like I teach people how to grasp that moment, how to feel in that moment, and almost like package it. I hire the moment, I'm putting it in the pockets, I'm going to take it out. It can be done. And the more you train yourself, the more instinctual you become, the more this kind of like becomes normal. Because negative people keep following negative patterns. So let's say they had A and B, and like A is taking them to the other negative thought, uh, like first, like I don't know, it's rain outside. And the thought takes them to, oh, now like my windshield watch has broke down. Well, look at this, the traffic. Oh, look at this, I have a parking. So they keep connecting and more and more and more, they keep kind of swirling in kind of like context, the faster this is going to go because they keep kind of like, it's like a river to try to break in into new ground initially can be hard. But the more and more times it goes through it, just like it just like flies right through it. So we really have to snap out of it and kind of like do the opposite. We have to force ourselves to think differently because differently is going to get us out of that situation. And sometimes it's not not easy. I get it, but it is what it is. So I really want to see the world here, which is the most important thing here. And I want to see why is the world reverse here for Libra? Why is the world? release for Libra you have the child and the room so I definitely think that somebody from the past might be contacting you and I know like we just have finished Mercury well actually we're still in the shadow to be honest so the child reversed because I did see quite a bit of Mercury retrograde in the previous readings the child is talking about something from the past not being workable and I guess this is kind of like where you still are you are still connected to something, and that's why the reflection has to happen. And that's why you get burned out. We air signs get burned out. And it's like about the warmth and intimacy. And I guess this is like what is also can talk about. Sometimes, especially air signs, we put a happy face, right? Because it's like we are really good with our brains. We know that people are scanning us. It's like emotional x-ray. So you in particular, guys, because you have this kind of like disposition and people don't really know what's happening because the room is definitely talking uh, again about the inside, something really intimate that kind of like was very, very meaningful for you. And I guess once when you address this, then it's going to be the time to turn the world around, which is like one of the best possible cards in a deck. So my dear Libra, I love you. Please contact me at cattero.ca to get your private reading. In the meantime, I really appreciate if you share, like, and comment, and so actually can see how, you know, this kind of worked out for you. Until the next time, I'll see you on Facebook and Instagram. Love you.